Quasha is a moon child, a man of war surrounded by native canoes, a hand lifted in a nightly room with a flowing incense stick and with the tip of it he nibbles outlines in the dark and all the lines turn into words. He is a table crowded with seven kinds of bread, surrounded by countless chairs, all upholstered with friends, jabbering the lovely Latin of the laity, and himself choir-mastering the lot of them. He points out the window. The moon is a mushroom omelet. He stands up and guides his friends to a slow dance onto a tarot card that somehow fits all their feet. But all the while he's talking, the room, the room like the Welsh bards of old, when they knew the words only go so far, but sound reaches the ends of the universe. Just make a sound, and the sense will come. He is frequently late to events. He was born on the 4th of July, but ten days late. He has to spend a lot of time in French just to catch up. But he has caught up with everything. And like our father Orpheus, he makes the rocks stand on their noses and cast shadows on the earth no man has ever seen before. And these rocks dance the dance of stillness, contra gravitatum, that is against the habit all things have of falling down, drunk or sober. Et simili modo, he has made long lines stand on their tails, whispering preverbs from which someday a massive verb will come to move us all. Meantime, his whisperings in a book, whispering, whispering, signify loud as Baptists by the river in July. Hello, George.